E3 2019 is finally underway as Microsoft kicked things off with their opening conference. Of course, there were subtle digs at Sony, a plethora of new games announced, and even the first official tease of the next generation of Xbox. But what were the truly standout moments of Microsoft's opening gambit into the next generation of gaming? I'm Parky P, and this is the top 5 moments of Microsoft's E3 2019 conference. These are of course my opinions, so be sure to sound off in the comments below about what your favourite moments were, but without further ado. World Premiere Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga Finally, the full Star Wars experience in true Lego form. The master builders of fun and innovative puzzle gameplay are stepping their toes back into a galaxy far, far away with Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. From the very beginning of our story with the Skywalkers to the true end, we get to play levels from the Phantom Menace all the way to the unreleased The Rise of Skywalker. Take control of characters such as Darth Maul and Kylo Ren to Anakin and Rey. 2020's Lego Star Wars promises to be the ultimate Lego adventure for fans of the Star Wars saga. Bleeding Edge The developers of Heavenly Sword and the Hellblade Senna was Sacrifice, which is a truly fantastic game I'd recommend you all to play, are bringing us their overtures into competitive multiplayer gameplay in Bleeding Edge. Looking like a mix between Carmageddon and Overwatch, Bleeding Edge is a 4v4 multiplayer melee action game, combining close-up gritty melee fighting with fun traversal elements and even zanier character models. This game promises to be everything you could ask for in a melee combat team up. As long as you are asking for a game where you can rush in alongside your friends and attack your enemies with sword blades and swords. I know I am. Elden Ring from the twisted minds of the team that killed you over and over again, and the crazy author man who killed your favourite characters over and over again, comes Elden Ring. From Software and George R. R. Martin have teamed up to bring us this fresh new IP that looks to be bringing players back to a familiar environment after Sekiro took us all the way to 16th century Japan. Elden Ring gives us a brand new world from the director of Dark Souls and author of, spoiler alert, Ned Stark's Headloss, Hidetaka Miyazaki and George R. R. Martin. This game will hopefully be the game that brings fans of the Soulsborne series back into the loving arms of From Software after the potential misstep for some that was Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. I personally love the game however, and I am playing through it right now on this very channel. Cheap plug, yay. When we think about the future of gaming, it's not just PC, it's not just console, it's not just mobile, it's really all of the above. Xbox is all about choice. We're investing in technology all throughout the game stack. We put the fan at the center of every decision we make. The games you want with the people you want on the devices that you want. And for us, that starts with our next generation console. Project Scarlet official reveal. Microsoft and Xbox have finally taken the elusive first step into the next generation of gaming by officially announcing Xbox Project Scarlet. Doubtless to inevitably change its name, Xbox Project Scarlet doesn't quite roll off the tongue. Xbox finally gave gamers a sneaky look behind the curtain of Scarlet, boasting what Microsoft say will be four times the power of the Xbox One X and with loading times supposedly drastically reduced. Project Scarlet will be Microsoft's first flirtation with frames per second reaching 120 and with some games even coming with native 8K graphics bringing backwards compatibility with Scarlet in one of many sly digs at Sony. Xbox head Phil Spencer promises that this new console will truly be one for the gamers. Project Scarlet also has a release window, with Scarlet being available to join us in our homes in holiday 2020. But that is not all. Signal detected. Tag this is UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? This is UNS... She 
she's bringing an old friend with her in the form of Master Chief, as it was also announced that Halo Infinite will be launching alongside Scarlet in 2020. Wait the f*** up, Samurai. We have a city to burn. Keanu Reeves. What? How can Microsoft announce their next generation console and it not be the number one spot? Well, this is my list and I make the rules. CD Projekt Red were on hand to deliver us some tasty information about their highly anticipated game, Cyberpunk 2077. After teasing us with some scintillating gameplay, we got a look at a brand new NPC who will be featured in the game, with the slow reveal of Keanu Reeves. Yes, the face behind legendary assassin John Wick is lending his ice cool charm to Cyberpunk 2077. But that's not all. He was also on hand at E3 to give the audience that goosebumps moment, with an entrance more befitting of Darth Vader than Ted Logan. After continuing to charm the pants off the audience in which fans were bowing and further caressing his ego, Keanu was given the delightful task of revealing the release date of Cyber, which will be available to buy on April 16th, 2020. And that's my list. Remember that this is my opinion, and I'm also interested in your opinion. So comment below what your moment of the Microsoft conference was, and what you are most looking forward to owning on Xbox in the future. Please leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed this, and would like me to do more top 5 lists in the future. I have been Parky P, and I shall see you all next time.